I'm a little bit at war with 7-Eleven. Um, yeah, we have to secretly drink it because I don't know the law here. You can hear him again. Wow. I don't know what that. You really have to see it with your own eyes. I mean, look at this place. It's so stunning. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're exploring a park, a park that you've all told me to come to. This is Benja Kitty Park. And let me tell you, the sun is just setting over here. The scenery is looking very beautiful with all these flowers here. I'm not sure what type of flower these are, but they are beautiful. And we're gonna walk around it, we're gonna explore it, we're gonna see a nice sunset. So yeah, right now it's really sunny. The sun is setting. It's actually pretty warm still. It's probably like 33 degrees. So I'm kind of sweaty right now. But I'm looking forward to when that sun goes down so that way it becomes much cooler. And I believe it's going to be a very, very scenic, very beautiful view with the buildings in the backdrop as the lights light up in the buildings and it gets darker. So first, let me just take some shots of this park before the light goes away, get some nice B-roll footage, and I'll tell you more about the park from what I understand. First impressions and things like that. Oh guys, this park is already beautiful. With all the flowers, there's lots of purple, yellow, red flowers everywhere along the edge of the, the lake here. As you can see, it is a giant lake. Um, definitely not swimmable. I highly doubt it is. But uh, man, the, the nature, the, the view is just stunning. And um, yeah, there's a lot of people here exercising. This is kind of like a walking, running path. So people are just getting some evening exercise and then next to it is a bicycle path where you can ride a bike. It did say there is boat and canoe rental I think it said but I don't see that anywhere. Maybe that used to be a thing and no longer is but really look at these flowers. Like as I'm filming this I'm trying to tell you there's no color grading going on here. This is just the natural colors but maybe there is going to be some after this but it's really beautiful with the way the, the flowers are popping. I did come through here quickly like two months ago and the flowers weren't as vibrant. They actually weren't even um, growing really, but now everything's in full bloom. So as you can see, this is one end of it. We are on the, huh, the farthest end that is away from the BTS, because the BTS would be that way. And uh, this is the whole view. It looks like there's a viewing deck over here, which we're going to check out. But first, I think we're gonna head to the store, get something to eat, something to drink, some snacks to bring in here to hang out for, you know, another hour or so, or even two. So we've just come into this building that's right on the edge of the park. It is called the Convention Center. And wow, there's a lot of people in here right now. I mean, like, look, people are everywhere. We've come in here to find something to eat, something to drink. And it looks like there's gonna be something in here. So let's see what we can find. Wow, this place is pretty impressive. There's like all sorts of food places down here in like a food court area. I'd never even heard about this place until today. Well, I'm trying not to take away from the park video, but this place is pretty impressive, so just have to kind of walk around it and see it to see what's really here. This convention center is wild. This is like a Another one of those rooms, but they're not selling like timeshares or hotels or places like that. This is products, clothing, kitchenware, just everything. Everything is in here. You guys hear this speaker? We just walked past that woman, and let me tell you, she's got some lungs. Holy. There it is, Central Super Brand Grand Cell. Wow, they had a lot of discounts, and that's why it's so wild in there. But man. That place was chaotic. The just amount of noise, people chit-chattering, 
lady on the speaker. She was like an auctioneer. Holy, good deals in there and a lot of authentic brands that you can buy, but seriously, we need to get something to eat, get something to drink and bring it out to the park and enjoy the sunset. Back to the point of this video. All right, we're back out at the park now. Just picked up some food from the 7-Eleven in the Lawson store. And the sun is actually setting. You might be able to see it behind me. So uh, we're just in time to see golden hour, to see the, the orange appear behind the buildings. They even turned the fountain on. The fountain was not on a little while ago. So now it looks very beautiful. Alright guys, well we found a place to sit down. We got a beer from 7-Eleven. I got a nice little Weizen beer here that was 60 baht. And um, yeah, we have to secretly drink it because I don't know the law here. But maybe you can drink beer over here, I'm not sure. But I did get this ready hot meal from 7-Eleven. One of my favorite meals, I always have it. This is an iconic dish from 7-Eleven. I've had it many times. And uh, I don't get it as often anymore because there's a lot of peppers in it and it is spicy. I do like the spice, I can tolerate it, but sometimes it gives me a little bit of heartburn. But let's try it out here. Mm. That's super good. Wow. I just love it. For 39 baht, some rice, some meat, and yeah. Ah, it's called stir-fried chicken and basil with rice. That's the name of it. I had to look at the container. But super good. You just microwave it for maybe a minute and a half, two minutes. Mm. Now maybe a lot of foreigners would think it's hot because of all the red chili in it. But for me, it's just perfect. Yeah, this is one of my favorite dishes from 7-Eleven. There's another one I always eat. It's the garlic chicken one. I probably eat that one at least three times a week. Super, super good, super cheap. 39 baht for them. I mean, you can't go wrong. It's a great little dish. I'm a little bit at war with 7-Eleven. Well, not just 7-Eleven, but all the grocery stores here and probably the supplier of one product, Doritos. There are Doritos here. I don't know if they're the same Doritos from the US, but they're super good. I really enjoy them. They usually have two kinds. Uh, nacho and like a barbecue. They haven't had nacho for like over a week and now they've completely run out of the barbecue. They're out of stock everywhere. I've been everywhere. Don't know where the supplier is, why there isn't any more. Maybe it's stuck on a cargo ship out in the sea or something, but they better get those back because I usually add those to this dish and it makes it way better to have something crunchy in it. So I will say, just from being here for about maybe an hour collectively, this park is pretty nice. It's pretty quiet. There is a main road running along the side of it here that goes adjacent with the BTS down there. But overall, it's quite quiet. And I think if you're on the other side of the park, well not the other side because I know on the other edge there is a big main road as well. But maybe towards the middle, then it's even more silent and probably even nicer. But I am enjoying the breeze, the atmosphere here. It's pretty cool. The heat has totally died down now that the sun is gone, thankfully. And you can really tell because there's more people out here, more people are exercising. It's definitely more comfortable to be out here. Now, it does appear that there's some bugs coming out. Uh, that's just normal, I guess. What do you guys think about doing a 7-Eleven video, maybe? eating 7-Eleven for a day or something like that. I know there's a lot of 7-Eleven videos around Thailand and around Bangkok and other parts of the world, but it seems interesting and I do go to 7-Eleven a lot, but I could go to many 7-Elevens in one video. So let me know or if you have an idea about a 7-Eleven video you'd like to see because I definitely would enjoy trying multiple different foods from 7-Eleven. All right, it is golden hour now. You can probably see it glowing off of my face. It's a little bit of the sunset and a little bit of the artificial lighting they have here, but it definitely is golden hour. Flowers behind me are looking real purple. 
And now we're actually gonna head into the middle of the park. Hopefully it doesn't get too dark. And then head towards the other side where they have the bridges that go over the like waterways and kind of like mounds. I don't know how to describe it. I just looked on the map and it looks pretty cool. So we're definitely gonna try to make it over that way before the park closes. I don't know what time it closes. All right, we're currently walking in the middle right here. There's some walking paths under the tree. So during the day, this is a shaded area. And uh, there was a workout park over there. Many people walking along. Very nice, but you can really hear the bugs over here. I don't know what kind of bugs they are. They sound like cicadas. If you know what a cicada is, you can hear them again. Whoa, I don't know what that is. Oh look, here's a meditation area. Benji Kitty Park. We have a meditation spot. Wow, look at that. Wow, that's a really beautiful meditation spot there with the, the Buddha sitting right under the tree. There's a light glowing, making it glow. Really, really cool. Oh, look at this. Beware, monitor lizard. I don't know, I haven't seen one yet. Maybe there's not that many in here. Maybe they're just chilling out, relaxing. So we've just entered the skywalk here. These are the bridges that they made to go over the other area. And many of them have lights on them. Very, very beautiful and picturesque at nighttime. Especially with the glowing background right now. The purple or pink or orange, whatever blend it is. So it's a bit dark here on the bridges, but they are lit up enough so you can see. And uh, this is a photo shoot spot. Everyone is taking photo shoots. We're doing photo shoots. Very cool, very cool area to have a nice backdrop with some of the buildings glowing in the background. But underneath the bridge, there is a forest park that they created with uh, walking paths. And that part is a little bit hard to see because it's pretty dark down there. Yeah, you can see behind me, that's where everyone is. Some people are sitting down relaxing, but most of them are sitting taking photos with the lighting because it really lights up your photo really well and uh, you have good quality for your photo. Holy crap, what is that? Um, sounds like a broken DVD player. So we've just come to this little area here inside the park. I don't exactly know what it is, but it reminds me of like a big outdoor theater. There's these um, benches, or not benches, but like stairs or wall all around it with some lights and some trees. And you can kind of just sit and enjoy some time with your friends and stuff. Really, really cool. And then behind me, there's this like circular rock pit. Looks like a big giant fire pit, but I'm not sure what it is. But the design is really, really cool. And there's some people hanging out. There's somebody that is uh, doing TikTok dances and much more. Definitely really, really scenic and really peaceful to be out here at night. This is a good place to take somebody on a date. So if any of you guys need a date spot, you know your spot right here. But wow. I will say it's a bit humid feeling, especially down here when you're on the bottom level near the ground because uh, there's not much wind moving around. Up top on those bridges, you have a lot more wind and it actually feels more comfortable. But um, I'm quite curious to see what this place would be like in the rainy season because obviously a lot of it is very green right now. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, you can see it. There's a stair platform, like a viewing point. Let's go up it and uh, see what it's like. Wow, very photogenic spot. Are these fake? I don't know, maybe these leaves are fake. Or flowers. It's really hard to get good quality videos or good quality imaging here at nighttime because of how dark it is. But you really have to see it with your own eyes. It's, I mean, look at this place. It's so stunning. So it is Sunday evening. And if you are here with some friends or with a date, look, there's no one even here. This would be a nice spot to just chill out, relax, and, and have private company or have private time. You know, you can get, get down and dirty over here. Somebody left something, what is this? 
Ooh, somebody left their vape. We'll leave that there. Two people lost their vapes. Wow, look at that. I don't know why I'm touching them, but I don't. I don't use a vape, so I wouldn't dare try to use that. Who knows whose lips have been on that. Holy moly, guys. I am beginning to sweat. It's like extremely humid now, just from walking around on the lower level. This part that I'm walking down right now, this is like a, a straight road that goes right through it. There's a few of them. And also, again, you have walking lanes, you have bike lanes, running lanes, things like that. And uh, also, it's wide enough to fit a car, so I'm sure they use these to do some maintenance in the park, maybe to bring in some water and things like that. But another thing I am noticing here is there is plenty of security. Lots of cameras, SOS device. SOS, I forget what that stands for. But uh, it's a help machine or a help button, essentially. Ring it if you feel in danger. You know, if a monitor lizard's coming after you or something. They also have a drinking fountain, so if you get thirsty, come get a drink. Let's make sure it works. Oh, it definitely works. My question is, how many people try to drink at that water fountain? They turn it on and it just blasts them in the face. There's a lot of power behind that, that's for sure. You'll even see there's nighttime security here. The guy behind me, the nighttime security. <laughs> he wasn't doing much right there, so he, he noticed I was filming and then he started walking, but I think he was playing on his phone. But there are plenty of security guards in here. I've seen some riding around on bikes, just cruising around. So the security level, 10 out of 10 for this place. Coming near the end of the park here, back out the exit or the entrance, the point where we entered. And I gotta say, this park is extremely cool, really uh, unique, really different than anything I've really seen before. And the architectures, the designers behind it, they definitely did a good job. But I totally recommend coming here to see it at nighttime, not during the day. Well, yeah, see it during the day too, but it's better, better at nighttime, I believe. Now, one of my favorite things about it is definitely how the bridges light up and then how you have that nighttime skyline in the background. And it really reminds you of like Central Park from New York. If you've ever been to New York City, it has a Central Park feel to it. And you know what? It might be cleaner than Central Park, actually. Uh, although, Christmas time Central Park, wow, there's no better place. You can also see over here, there's like these old warehouses. They're completely empty. It looks like they just recently maybe renovated the roofs or something. I wonder what they're going to use them for. If you know, let me know in the comments. Very, very interesting. Well, one of those warehouses there had basketball hoops in it. So I guess there's some recreation activities, but some of them are definitely under maintenance as there was a sign that said under construction. But really cool, there's a lot of potential here. Oh, we got some people playing uh, badminton in there because there's lots of light. But yeah, really cool. Oh, bike center. Hmm. Maybe this is where people can rent bikes or park bikes. I don't know, but all I know is we're about at the exit here and this park was definitely really cool. And um, yeah, that's gonna be it from this video. If you can't tell, we're in Manchester United because the game's on in a little bit, and I'm gonna go home and watch it. Well, that's it, guys. See you next time. Peace.